Hi, my name is John. I'm a nursing student at South, and I'm going to be doing the musculoskeletal assessment on you today, if that is okay with you. It's okay. All right, so I'm going to start off by inspecting and palpating your knees. So I noticed that your knees are slightly tan. Uh, I do not notice any cyanosis, uh, redness, or swelling, or any masses or deformities. Is it okay if I palpate your knees? Yes. All right, so I do not notice any, uh, I do not palpate any master deformities. Uh, did you feel any pain or tenderness? No. Yeah. Right. And then uh, while I was palpating, I noticed that the temperature of your knees was warm and equal bilaterally. So now I'm going to move on to your musculoskeletal strength. So I want you to put, uh, put your hands, your arms like this, and I'm going to push against you and you keep me from moving you. All right, now I'm going to pull and do the same thing. All right, so your upper extremities were a five out of five. So now I'm going to uh, push down on your knees and you push up. All right. And then I want to push against your legs and you push back. And I'm going to do the same thing and pull. All right. So your lower extremities were also a five out of five. Uh, so now I'm going to assess your range of motion. So I'm going to just stand up for me. So we're going to start with your jaw. So if you open your mouth and then uh, protrude your jaw out and then you can go move it left and right. All right, so you have full range of motion in your jaw. Now we're gonna go move on to your shoulders. So if you put your uh, arms straight out, that is flexion and then put them by your side, that is extension by side. All right, and then if you move them all the way back, that is hyperextension. Uh, so if you put them up in the air, that is abduction, and then by your side is adduction. Uh, and then you can uh, put them behind your back and grab your hand for internal rotation. All right, and then behind your head, grab your hands behind your head for external rotation. So you had four inch of motion in your shoulders. Uh, now we're gonna move on to your elbows. So for flexion, you can put them back in this position like earlier, and then extension straight out. And then hyperextension, you can just lock your elbows. All right, and then for, uh, we're gonna keep them out and palms down is pronation, and then flip them over, that is uh, supination. So you have four inch motion in your elbows. Uh, now for your wrist and fingers. So if you point your wrist straight down, that is flexion, and then straight out is extension, and then up as high as you can for hyperextension. Uh, so then if you, point your, finger, uh, your hands toward each other, that is radial deviation, and point them out, that is ulnar deviation. Right. So now for your fingers, um, put your hands back out, and then point your fingers straight down uh, for flexion, and then out for extension, and then all the way up for hyperextension. And then uh, for adduction, uh, you're gonna make a fist, and then abduction, you're gonna put them out as far as you can, all right? And then I'm gonna get you to touch your thumb to each of your fingertips, and then to the base of your pinky. All right, so you have four inch motion in your wrist and fingers. Uh, now, we've been doing everything bilaterally, but for time's sake, we're just gonna do everything uh, just one side. So we're gonna move on to your hip. So for flexion, uh, just pick your hip up, and then extension is back down, and then hyperextension is back behind you. Right, and then for internal rotation, you're gonna pick your hip back up, and then turn it inside, and then external rotation is your hip going out. And then we're gonna do abduction. So you're gonna put your leg out, and then abduction is bringing it back in. All right. So you had four inch motion in your hip. Uh, now we're gonna go to your knee. So you pick your knee back up, all right, and then that is flexion, and then extension is straight back down, and if you lock your knee, uh, that is hyperextension. So you have four inch motion in your knee. Now for your feet, uh, for your ankles and toes. So if you put your foot out, and then point it down, that is plantar flexion, and then point it up for dorsiflexion. Uh, then for inversion, is take your sole and point it towards the inside, that is inversion. And then eversion is pointing your sole out. All right, so now for your toes. Uh, if you curl your toes in, that is 
flexion and then pointing them out as far, uh, as far as you can is extension. So I did not notice in the crepitance or uh, discrepancies in your range of motion. So you have full range of motion in all your joints. Now we're going to move uh, to your spine. So for flexion, I'm going to you touch your toes. All right, and then stand back up. And when you stand up, that is extension. And then for hyperextension, if you lean back 30 degrees, all right, and you're good. So uh, now we're going to work, or we're going to assess your lateral bend. So keeping your hips still, uh, lean to your left, and then to your right. All right, uh, then for rotation, uh, keep your hips still again. Uh, turn to your left and right. All right, uh, so I did not notice any crepitants or deviations uh, or discrepancies in your spine. So now I'm going to look at the alignment of your spine. So I would have the gown open, uh, and I'm going to look from, you need to stand up straight. I'm going to look from his neck to his gluteal cleft. Uh, I'm going to notice that his spine is straight, so it is in alignment. Uh, now I'm going to look at the spinal curvature. So his thoracic, or uh, cervical spine is concave, his thoracic spine is convex, and his lumbar is concave. So now I'm going to assess for scoliosis. So I'm going to need you to bend over just a little bit. All right, and what I'm looking for is the alignment of his spine. And uh, I'm looking at his shoulders to make sure that they're, uh, both this, that they're both even bilaterally and one's not lower than the other. And I'm also looking at his scapula and his iliac crest to make sure they are also bilaterally equal. Uh, so I, I I'm assessing that and I noticed that he does not have uh, any deviation in either of those or any of those. Uh, so you can stand back up. So I do not notice any signs or symptoms of scoliosis. Uh, so that completes my assessment. I will do hand hygiene.